Hello, and welcome to the Supercast. I'm your host, Superintendent Anthony Godfrey. If you are in the market for a new job, you're in luck. Jordan School District is hiring. On this episode of the Supercast, we explore the many opportunities for you to work in our schools and buildings, working and making a difference in education, in careers like teaching, school counseling, and custodial, driving bus, and dishing up delicious food in our cafeterias. If you're in the market for a job, tune in and let's talk. We're here with Brent Burge, one of the administrators from our HR department, and with Tammy Raychek, one of our special education administrators at the district level here, to talk about some of the job opportunities available in Jordan School District. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. You're welcome. We have the good news from the board that there's a 7% pay increase for our education support professionals. So I know we have a lot of interest in the positions that are out there, but we always have a lot of uh, positions to fill. We need a lot of great people. So I thought I would talk with you about some of the things that are, uh, some of the positions available and what we're doing to connect with potential candidates out there. I know we have a job fair coming up. Mr. Burge, talk to us a little bit about that. Well, this is a great opportunity. Many people think that during the summer, things slow down a bit, but this is the time when all schools are trying to fill those open positions for the upcoming year, and it's a great time to get your application in for those positions if you're interested. I know we have a job fair coming up in August, but we have a lot of opportunities to apply between now and then. If someone is looking for a job, tell us the mechanics of hopping online to see what's available. The best thing for you to do is to go to uh, our website at employment.jordandistrict.org. There's many links based on the information that we have, and if you click on the Apply Here button, that will take you directly to our application portal where you can see all of the available jobs that we have available throughout the district at each school, at each department, Uh, and it's easy to complete an application and submit that for whichever jobs you're interested in. And you can, you know, if you're interested in working close to home or at a particular location, you can sort jobs that way, or you can also look for something in a particular job family, as we call it, with a, you know, custodial nutrition services, information systems, those sorts of positions. Absolutely. There's a great way to just sort. Um, A lot of people like to work at schools close to their home, and that's a great way to sort through through those uh, postings. Another way to connect with a job is just to call the school and see what they have available. And, uh, you know, some some folks may only want to work very close to home or where where their children are attending. And just a quick call to the school to see what openings they have is also a a good way to get that taken care of. And you can also call our HR department, 801-567-8150, and we'll be glad to help you get your application submitted. That number again? 801-567-8150. Okay, call now. Operators are standing by in our human resources department, (laughs) ready to connect you to the job of your dreams. Now, Tammy, let's talk a little bit about special education. There are lots of different positions Mm -hmm. in special education, and one of your responsibilities has been to help find great people and match Mm -hmm. them up with the jobs we have open. Tell me a little bit about some of the jobs that are available in special ed that people might be interested in. Sure. Right now we have 14 teaching positions in special education. That ranges um, from resource positions to self-contained positions um, in a variety of different schools, including elementary, middle, and high school. We also have itinerant positions that are also available. So we're looking for teachers of the visually impaired, teachers of the deaf and hard of hearing, and um, SLP, speech language pathologists as well. If you're looking for a job, Jordan's the way to go. I highly recommend Jordan School District to all of our candidates. Um, Please come to the job fair. We will be there with our booth and ready to answer any questions that you have. Now, you talked about resource and Mm self-contained. Will you describe the difference there for those who are listening, as well as itinerant positions? Sure. So our resource positions, we have full-time and part-time, and it looks a little different in each um, School. So our elementary is usually for our mild, moderate students, and it um, can be a pullout or a mainstream or um, an inclusion classroom. We also have in our secondary, our middle schools and high schools, resource as well. And um, those are for our mild, moderate students with a learning disability, typically, sometimes other health impairments. It just depends on the student's individual needs. We try to match that. So we also have our self-contained classrooms that um, we're looking for teachers. And um, our self-contained students might require a little bit more additional support. And um, we have opportunities available for you to teach in those as well. Um, Usually, typically, a little bit smaller classroom sizes, and you get the more individualized 
um, support there. So there are opportunities part-time, full-time yes. to help students who have greater need for support, less need for support. You may even be helping in a regular education classroom, but helping support mm-hmm. them to be, make sure they're successful there. Mm-hmm. Just lots of different opportunities. And when you work yes. closely with students, then you really get addicted to having that connection yes. with them. And, mm-hmm. and it, it's really important. It's mm-hmm. Having great people is the difference between students being successful and not. So Correct. those are really important positions. Correct. Yes. Tell me about... Uh, what, what is it that's rewarding about working with special education students and, and supporting our teachers as, as an ESP, for example? Working with students with disabilities is extremely rewarding in all aspects. Um, whether you're a teacher, an instructional assistant in the classroom, you really get to know those students and get to build those relationships. And not only are you helping them build the skills um, they need to become independent, You're also um, establishing those relationships with them as well as the families. Um, It's you get to work with a team of people. You're never alone. And that team you work very closely with because we want to make sure we're meeting those needs of each student. I've worked in special education for over 20 years and I've never turned back. It's something that I hold near and dear to my heart. I love each and every student that I have worked with, each staff member, each family. I still keep in touch with some of them. Um, it has impacted my life tremendously with my own family and my own my own children at home, and just looking at the benefits of giving each student what they need and to be successful. Anyone who's thinking, you know, maybe I would be interested in that, give it a shot. There are some great kids uh, that you get to work with, and some some wonderful educators. And if you need any have any questions regarding special ed, please feel free to call myself or Mike Trimmel at eight zero one. Five six seven eight nine zero four, and we're happy to answer any questions. We're here with Nathan Morgan, the head custodian here at West Jordan High School. Nathan, thanks for taking a few minutes with us. Yeah, no problem. It's great to be here. You were described as best of the best, and I've only been here about 90 seconds, and somebody already told me that. <laughs> yeah. I know you do a great job, and you've done a great job for us for a long time. Tell us about your career as a custodian in the Jordan School District. Okay, yeah, so I started in 2004. I uh, was just barely married, and we had two kids. I was going to school at the time. I just needed a job with insurance, so I came here and was actually placed here as an assistant custodian at West Jordan High. And then I worked here for about eight years, and then in 2012, I got a head custodian job at Fox Hollow Elementary. And I was there for about a year, and then I went to Valley High in 2013. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I was there for about probably another eight years, and then... 2021, I moved over here to West Shore and High. I, I, I say a oh, while wow, because I, I knew you at, at Valley as well, and it doesn't seem like it's been that long since you were there. Yeah, time just flies. Time does yeah, fly. I've been here for 19 years total. So That's fantastic. Yeah. I'm glad we've had you for so long, and like yeah. I said, you do such a great job. Tell us about some of the opportunities for custodians in Jordan School District. Oh, there's a lot of opportunities. Uh, so you start out as an assistant custodian, and uh, our director, C. Perry, has... Uh, made a lot of positions open. You have a assistant custodian, and then after that, if you take some training classes, you can move up to lane three. Uh, there's J- JCOS Basic and JCOS Management. And then after that, you can get a lead custodian at a middle school. And then you can also move up to a lead custodian at a high school, which is a little bit more pay. And then you have a uh, assistant custodian, uh, head custodian at a elementary school, and then a head custodian at a middle school, and then they have the custodial specialists that go out and, you know, they're just kind of a, they help you. They with, rove and help and yeah. train and support when yep, all, somebody needs to be there. And they're substitutes for all of those positions All those as positions, well. yep. And uh, I also want to mention the sweeper positions that are available. Oh, it's yes. It's one of the few jobs that you can start when you're 14 years old. Exactly, yes. You have the sweepers positions. And we have at Western High, we have about 12 sweeper positions. We have eight regular ones that come in every day, and then we have four subs that come in as well and they check in with me the subs are kind of like the ones that are in band and that can't show up every day or football and but, but they can come by uh, yeah when you need them sometimes yeah, exactly yeah that's yeah. perfect you mentioned jcos and that's the that's the system that we use to 
organize the jobs, explain exactly what's involved and what's expected, and to do the evaluations. Yeah. So there's a lot of training. There's a lot of clarity about the job. Exactly. You can come not knowing anything about the job, and we're ready to train you and get you ready. Oh, yeah. The district does a great job of uh, prepping you. You don't. I didn't know anything about custodial when I first started, and they put, sign you up day one on those JCOS classes. And uh, tell me, what would you say to those who are considering possibly getting involved and, and seeking a custodial position? Oh, it's just a, it's a great job. Jordan School District is a great place to work at. And, uh, you know, every day I come to work, I'm happy. <laughs> uh, and the students, the students make it even more great. That's why we're here. Without, without the students, we really wouldn't have a job. I know you're happy every day because you're always smiling and you yeah. always bring a a high level of positivity wherever you go. So I really appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. And we're standing here in the commons at West Jordan High School, and it looks fantastic. I know things are underway, and you're working hard. But yeah, this, this is an old building that looks really good. This is our last hall. We yeah. have uh, done all the waxing. This, uh, light. this is it. <laughs> yeah, you can see your reflection uh, everywhere you look. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's probably kind of a nice time when the building is more empty. It's never empty. By the end of the summer, you're itching for the kids to be back. Oh, yeah, we miss them. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time, Nathan, and thanks for all your great work over okay. the years. Thank you so much. Take Appreciate care. it. <laughs> Stay with us. When we come back, we'll tell you about Jordan's upcoming summer job fair, a fair where you just might get hired on the spot. Hello, I'm Sandy Reesgraff, Director of Communications for Jordan School District, and we want to invite you to connect with us. So many exciting things are happening in your child's school, your neighbor's school, in every school here every day. Don't miss out on following the fun or simply staying informed when there's important information we need to share. Join us at jordandistrict.org or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Jordan District. We can't wait to connect. If you are thinking that maybe I'll be interested in a job in the fall when my kids are headed back to school, we also have the job fair coming up in August that we mentioned. Tell me uh, about where and when that's happening and what that looks like. Yes, uh, we have our uh, second uh, job fair coming up August 16th. It will be held at Ochre Hills Middle School from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, the address for that is 12949 South, 2700 West. We had a lot of uh, great response the last time we did this, and we uh, are inviting everybody to show up and find available positions. Part-time, full-time, every job family. We have 9,000 employees total in Jordan School District. Yep. Last year there were 11,000 W-2 forms created for all of the people who worked for Jordan at one time or another. There are a lot of opportunities as a result of that. And it's a great environment to work in, working with kids, working with other great people who've chosen education. They're just, whatever your skills are, we have a spot for you. We have a way to, uh, to help make good use of, of those abilities and talents and experience that you're bringing. We have a lot of other education support professional openings, classroom aides, this is any, any position that doesn't require a license. And uh, we have 13 job families that those positions are organized into. So, Brent, can you talk to us a little bit about some of the opportunities there? Absolutely. Um, the education support professionals keep the schools running. We have bus drivers and bus attendants who get the kids to school. The custodians are there before everybody else preparing the school. And long after everyone and else. And long every. There's a lot of cleaning that goes on in the buildings. Uh, our nutrition employees who are preparing those uh, nutritious meals for our students, uh, along with those that are classroom assistants, those who are work directly with students. We also have a lot of office assistant positions, whether part-time or full-time, uh, that do a variety of uh, jobs within the district. What's really nice is for a lot of the positions, you have a schedule that may match your child's schedule. Not for all positions, but a lot of them you can only work during the day after your child has headed to school. You'll be home by the time they get home. Uh, but it's also a great retirement position. We have people who have retired from a lot of different careers that decide to come to education. If you're looking for a connection with great people, kids are a great way to do that. Being around students is energizing and can be really, really rewarding. Absolutely. The, the schedule works really well with a lot of our employees. 
Uh, it just fits to what their family needs, and it, it works well for them. One of the additional things that we have is we're offering a, a sign-on bonus for certain positions within the district that we consider hard to fill. For example, our assistant custodians, uh, some of our uh, six-hour nutrition workers, our bus drivers, and a few within the facilities department. So there's a $500 sign-on bonus if you stay with us for a certain amount of time. Tell everyone about those positions. Let's start with custodial assistant. Yes, this is a position that uh, does not have any minimum requirements. Uh, in essence, you are working at a school either during the day or a majority of our positions are in the evening where you are uh, cleaning hallways, restrooms, preparing the school for the days uh, for the next day. And uh, that's a full-time position. It is full-time, but we also have some part-time positions in, at elementaries in the afternoons to supervise the student sweepers as well. We also have this six-hour nutrition position. Uh, their job is to do the heavy baking, the, the, the work Heavy that's, baking, that's heavy not baking. a term I use very often. <laughs> as we bake most of our own breads and things like that, they do a lot of the baking and preparing of the food. And not only that, but serving and then cleaning up afterwards. Uh, very rewarding career as well. And that's six hours a day, but that's a benefited position. That is a benefited position, correct. As is the full-time custodial position. What are some of the others that you mentioned? Bus driver, let's talk about that. And you mentioned bus attendant. You don't have to drive a bus to work on a bus. No, you do not. Sometimes just to help students manage that trip. Uh, generally, students who uh, are, are on an individual education plan, there's an attendant that helps make sure that everything goes well on the yep. bus. So bus attendants, but also we always need bus drivers. Absolutely. So our bus attendants, like you said, are, are there to help uh, the driver while the driver drives. Uh, they're there to watch after the students and to help them get on and off the bus. Uh, we do have full-time positions. We also have substitute bus attendants as well. If you're not looking for a full-time job, you can help out when you're available. Our bus drivers, the great thing about bus driving is we we provide all of the training for your CDL. It does require CDL, and so the district is willing to uh, pay you to go through that training program. Bus drivers arrive early in the morning, pick up students, drop them off, and then do the same thing in the afternoon. Tell me about some of the, the other jobs that you listed. Uh, I talked about facilities positions. We have uh, yeah. frequently different positions with facilities. Uh, this group takes care of all of our HVAC, our plumbing, our electrical, Anything that's uh, heavy-duty work uh, dealing with the facilities. Uh, we have Not heavy baking. Heavy not heavy baking. Heavy-duty. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And so they are there to uh, handle all of the things that maybe the custodian uh, isn't trained to do or uh, might require a little more skill or expertise. And uh, any other thoughts about some of the positions we have open or just general tips for those who are interested in a position in Jordan? Uh, like Tammy, Tammy mentioned, we have a, a lot of special needs uh, positions that are available, both uh, hourly and contracted. We also have classroom uh, assistants that work uh, mostly with uh, regular education students, uh, helping them read, helping them uh, on the playground to make sure they're safe, a whole host of positions. And the walk to read positions are really important positions. Every position is, you said it earlier, every person we hire in this district ultimately makes the education of children possible. Thanks for joining me on the podcast, and we really look forward to all the great new people we're going to be able to hire this year. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us on another episode of the Supercast. Remember, education is the most important thing you'll do today. We'll see you out there.